Hi everyone, this is Freddy. I am back for another video today. I have quite a lot of things on my mind, so let's get to it. The first thing is, after the first video, video that I've posted, I had a few people expressing concern about my brown spot on my face. So, I have been to the doctor and it seems he thinks it's just sunspots, but he recommended that I go and see a dermatologist. I have made an appointment. And can you believe the first appointment I can get is the 1st of October. So, what's the space? Everything seems okay, but it is being attended to. And since then, I'm obviously quite um, um, absorbed by it. And I'm very aware of it. I actually didn't want to do this video because of it. <laughs> so, so please excuse my brown spot. It is being attended to. The second thing that I wanted to mention is that I have made a decision about this video that I am not going to edit the video. And the reason for that is because I'm not a top billing presenter. I'm not one. I don't want to be one and I don't watch the program. But the bottom line is that I am free and I am a human being. And human beings don't always speak perfectly. They don't make perfect sentences. They say mm and ah, and they interrupt themselves, and there's a change in their thought patterns, and all those type of things happen. And that is life. That's real life. And I would like to portray real life in these videos. So I'm not going to edit mistakes or change in thought patterns or those things out of it, because that is real. That's me. That's how I speak. That, 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 that's just it. If you don't like it, then, um, then don't watch my videos. I think life is, is so focused on perfection. We are, all, we are all just expected and forced to be perfect. And that is not life. We are not perfect. We are never going to be perfect. And I don't want to portray something perfect on this video because I'm not perfect. So that is it. Then basically today's topic links to that whole concept of being perfect or not. And that is that there's a guy that I follow on Twitter. Let me just get his name. It's Alex Davies. And he runs a website called pushingbacktheshadows.com. And what he does is he's a blogger author and he supports others in the mental health, fighting depression and anxiety and insomnia. And this week he is running a special on eating disorders. And I, I have a special interest in eating disorders for a few reasons. Number one is when I studied psychology, I, I was fascinated by two specific things. The one was schizophrenia. It just, it freaked me out, the whole concept of schizophrenia, um, especially catatonic schizophrenia. And the other thing was anorexia. I could not get my head around the concept of, of people starving themselves. Um, and then when I went into rehab myself, ah, and then my phone goes, um, sorry, let me put that on quiet. And then when I went into rehab myself, I became very, very good friends with two very special ladies, both of whom have eating disorders. They both classify themselves as, um, as, Overeaters, compulsive overeaters. So I shared a flat with one of them for three years, and the two are possibly my two best girlfriends, possibly two or four, five friends in my life that are so close to me and whom I love dearly. So I formed part of these struggles. So eating disorders, because of that, have become something very, very close to my heart and something that I identify with quite closely. Also, I suffer from disorderly eating. So, what I do is I I have a, a I have body image issues. So, I am quite thin, but I tend to gain weight quickly. And people always say to me, "But you're so thin." And the answer is, "Yeah, I'm thin because invariably I watch what I eat and." I, I exercise, I keep a very close eye on, on my weight. 
But as I get older, and I think as I get more settled in recovery, the less obsessed I am about what I look like. It's the inside that counts far more. So I think I, people would say that I let myself slip a little bit more, but it's just not that important for me to look fabulous anymore. I I tend to pay less attention to what my head tells me when I gain a few kilograms. It's not the end of the world. I try to eat healthily. I have a very, very sweet tooth. I love sweet things. Cakes. I am willing to sell my soul for a good cake. That's my downfall. Um, my name is Freddie. I'm a drug addict. I'm an alcoholic. I am a sex addict. I suffer from disorderly eating and I possibly have a sugar addiction. But I try to keep it under wraps by when I eat chocolates, I invariably buy sugar-free chocolates. And for those who don't know sugar-free chocolates, they are actually quite awesome. You get them at Wilbur sell really good quality ones. Um, Checker Strange enough has a huge range, and they have they sell one the Candorel range, and they sell ones that that are bubble like an arrow. Oh my God, they are awesome! You won't know the difference. You won't know that you're eating sugar-free chocolates. Actually, most of the Candorel range are like that. Um, so, but cake is my downfall. I love cake. I got addicted to baking cakes when I was watching. The Great British Bake Off, which means that we I baked every Saturday afternoon and we constantly had cake in the house, which means I indulge, I overindulge completely. Um, I try to exercise, but due to knee problems, hip problems, ankle problems, <laughs> anything from my from my youth, my hurting days, I I struggle to get exercise in. And these days I'm actually frankly also very, very busy, but that's not an excuse. I need to make time for it. But the bottom line is that as I'm getting older, the less obsessed I am with how I look. But actually from a very young age, I've always had, you know, these medical forms that you fill in that says, has your weight uh, fluctuated within five or 10 kilograms in the past five years? And my answer is always yes because my weight is constantly fluctuating. I'm anything between 68 kilograms, which I weighed in matric, which I also weighed in March two years ago. I know at, at my wedding, I was at the lowest weight I've been. I was the same weight at my wedding that I was in matric, which is actually bloody unnatural because I'm 51 years old versus, versus 17 at that stage. So, and then I go up to 82, 83, somewhere around there. And so I tend to indulge, overeat, and then realize, oh my God, I don't fit into my clothes, I'm fat, and once I'm, I feel fat and I think fat, and my, 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 my head tells me a lot of stuff that I, that I believe. Part of my self-talk was um, calling myself a fat and ugly useless piece of shit. If I did something wrong, the first thing was, you're such a fat and ugly useless piece of shit. Um, and that's bullshit. I, I, I will not listen to that voice anymore. And I don't anymore. I don't call myself a fat and ugly useless piece of shit. The other day I was cooking and um, I called myself, I did something wrong and I called myself a fucking idiot. So I posted on my SAA support group. I said, is, uh, is this progress from you're a fat and, fat and ugly useless piece of shit to you're a fucking idiot? Is this progress or should I be worried? But I'm very aware of myself too. But back to eating disorders. So my message to everybody today is that eating disorders come in many forms. I think most people know anorexia the best, anorexia nervosa the best, because there's a lot being written. And I think a lot of people see that possibly as the most dangerous, the most life-threatening eating disorder. To make it just really, really easy and simple, it's just basically people starving themselves, restricting their food intake. Um, there's body dysmorphia issues, which means that they actually look in the mirror and they see themselves as fat. They see themselves as bigger than they are. Um, but anorexia is not the only eating disorder that there is. And the other two very the well-known ones are um, bulimia, bulimia nervosa, which is basically purging. And that purging can take many forms. It's not necessarily somebody eating a meal and sticking their finger in the throat. That purging can also be in the form of 
eating and then over exercising to burn the calories that that you've eaten that's one example and the other one is of course overeating and all three of those are very very serious cases but a lot of people don't think of something like overeating as an eating disorder they just perceive themselves as they're eating too much and they don't realize that they actually have had an illness and that they need help the main reason for my chat today is that guys if you think that you have an eating disorder if you think or even just as oddly eating or if food in any form is is, is an obsession for you either the, the eating of it or the or the not eating of it or the time that you eat and how much you eat and when you eat and what you eat and exercising and all those type of things if those things become an obsession in your life for you then you probably need some form of assistance and the good news for today is that there is help there's a lot of support groups i know there's um eating disorders anonymous i know in south africa in cape town where i am i know definitely of eating disorders anonymous and i know of overeaters anonymous there's also a lot of amazing counselors and psychologists and psychiatrists who are qualified and can help there is no reason to suffer so please go onto the websites of google things like anorexia um, anonymous eating disorder anonymous um, overeating is anonymous most of them will have questionnaires on there that that will ask ask you a few questions so that you can gauge whether you actually do have a problem and if you do go and get out there is absolutely no reason to suffer i love that saying that says pain is inevitable but suffering is a choice so for today my message is please don't suffer there is help out there find it if you struggle to find help contact me on my website contact me on my channel contact me in whatever way my website is www.freddy.org.za freddy with an ie contact me and i will put you in contact with 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 fellowships i will see if i can get you in contact with counselors that can help but please don't suffer i'm begging you okay have an awesome day All right guys bye bye